Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be going over an example problem that pertains to uh, shear stress, the viscous shear force, and torque. Uh, so in this particular problem we have a diameter D circular plate that's placed over a fixed bottom plate with a gap of delta placed between the two plates that's filled with, a, uh, with some fluid with a viscosity mu. Uh, the problem asks us to determine the torque that's required to rotate our circular plate slowly at some omega. So with this being the case, let's go into our uh, problem solution. So as you can see, I've already um, drawn out our figure. And in this particular uh, example problem, we're going to be solving this completely analytically. So there will be no uh, numerical values present. OK. So let's get into it. So what we want to do is determine t, our torque. So recall from physics, so recall that torque is equal to our radius vector crossed with our force vector. So for our particular problem, what we have, so for our problem, we get that torque is just equal to our radius multiplied by our viscous shear force. Now we know also that our viscous shear force is just also our, our uh, shear stress times area. So what we can do is just plug this in to our expression for torque and what we end up getting is that torque is equal to r times tau times a. Now eventually we're going to have to integrate this for all possibilities of r, so we're going to have to integrate it between 0 and capital R. So it's uh, of interest to put this in terms of a differential form, so we can go ahead and integrate that later. So in differential form, we get the differential of torque is equal to r times tau times r differential in area. So now what we have to do is we have to figure out what our differential area term is. So what is dA? Now we know that um, the area of our circle is pi r squared. So the area here is actually the surface area that's in contact with the fluid. So since we have a circular disk, the area that's uh, in contact with our viscous fluid is just a circle. So that's why I'm using a is equal to pi r squared here. This is the surface area that's in contact with the, with the fluid. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate the differential form of this. So let's take the derivative of this with respect to r. So what we get is dA dr is equal to d dr of pi r squared, which gives us 2 pi r, so the perimeter. Now, we can just solve for dA, which gives us dA is equal to 2 pi r dr. So now we have our area in terms of radius, which will be uh, helpful to us later when we have to integrate this with respect to area, or with respect to radius, sorry. So let's go ahead and just plug in our differential area into our expression for differential torque. And what we get is you get that dt is equal to r tau times 2 pi r dr. We can rewrite this as 2 pi r squared tau dr. So we're almost there. 
<clears throat> uh, we have one last thing to do, and we have to acknowledge our shear stress term, so tau. So we know that shear stress is just going to be our viscosity times our du dy, so our rate of strain. Now here we, we do have to make an assumption. We're essentially going to assume that we have a linear velocity profile. And what this means is, uh, let me go ahead and draw a little figure over here. So let's say we have our top plate that is rotating at some velocity v, which we can calculate the velocity by multiplying the angular velocity by its radius. So r times omega. At the bottom we have our fixed plate. And what we're assuming, you know, let's uh, also put our uh, thickness layer of fluid, so delta. But what we're, we're essentially assuming is that we have a linear velocity profile for u as a function of y. And what this means for us is that, so this implies that du dy is actually just going to be the velocity divided by our uh, fluid layer thickness, delta. Then if we replace r omega, if we put, replace v with r omega, then what we get is r omega divided by delta. So let's go ahead and take this and plug that into our expression for shear stress. So we get, so tau is equal to mu, so our viscosity, times r omega divided by delta. So essentially the assumption that our velocity profile is linear is to assist us in determining an expression for uh, du dy which actually turns out to be just r omega divided by delta, so a constant for a linear profile, which is what we expect. Okay, so now we have an expression for our shear stress, so let's go ahead and plug that into our expression for our differential torque. So we get that dt is equal to two pi r squared times mu times r omega divided by delta dr. Now we can write this in a simpler form as two pi mu omega divided by delta r cubed dr. Okay, so now we just have one final step, and that's to integrate between our center point of our disk, which remember we denoted the center point of our disk to just be right here, and we have to integrate from our zero point, which is here, all the way to our end radius, capital R. So we have to integrate all of those values of r. So what this means for us is that we get that torque is equal to all of our constants we can pull outside of our integral, so 2 pi mu omega divided by delta times the integral from 0 to capital R, r cubed dr. So this gives us 2 pi omega divided by delta times one-fourth r to the fourth evaluated between zero and r. Now finally, if we go ahead and simplify, what we end up getting is pi mu omega r to the fourth divided by two delta. 
And that is our final expression for our torque. So uh, that is the end of this example. Uh, I, I hope that you found this to be uh, helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that pertaining to um, any of the assumptions or any of the steps within this problem, uh, feel free to um, you know, uh, put a, a comment below in the comment section or go ahead and, and ask me just directly in, at the end of lecture or before lecture or in office hours. I'd be more than happy to uh, answer any, any questions pertaining to this problem. Um, so I uh, thank you for, uh, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.